Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be prepping this car up. That means detailing it, sanding the hood, and prepping everything else up for its, uh, nope, nope. We're going to be wrapping this car soon, but we need to prep it up. That means headlights, grill, sanding the hood. The whole entire car needs a whole once over with, with wash because this thing has never been washed since we got it and the paint's just horrible. So this hood has definitely seen some better days in its life, but as for now, it's just that I can't wrap that. So that needs to be sanded. This front bumper needs to be sanded too, because I, I don't know, I don't trust it. I need to make sure it's smooth. The paint just needs to be cleaned up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wash this up and then clay it out. Um, the mirrors, I'm also gonna polish the mirrors because I do plan on leaving these exposed. As far as the door handles go, these are going to get a polish, but then I'm going to wrap them, so they'll be fine. Everything else on the other hand, the spirit bumper still needs to be replaced. Waiting on the rear diffuser to come in so we can install the other car's rear bumper. Alright, so before we begin, I want to peel these two pieces of protection film off and I want to peel this rear lip off. Maybe this needs to be sat out in the sun a little longer. But it's really hard. So it appears that the string wasn't working so I just went ahead and manhandled it and um, basically just gonna rip that thing off. As for the rest of the skunk, I do not plan on wrapping the trunk first. Uh, if anything, I'm gonna wrap the hood first. The rest of the skunk, I'm gonna, I have a tool at the shop. It's basically a eraser wheel. You use that on here and it takes off all the stuff without damaging the paint. I have to remove the rear bumper and I have the rear other rear bumper at the shop. So uh, I'm gonna do that later on this week. But as for now, the target goal is to remove that and start sanding and detailing. Right. All right, now that that's off, that's off. Let's go ahead and turn that on and start cleaning this thing up. And here's your finished result. So this uh, wheel and tire cleaner worked out perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the wheels. I'll see you when I'm done with the rest of the wheels. Okay, so I just got done detailing the wheels. All the other wheels, not as much. Uh, they all had a ton more crap onto them. This wheel over here, this wheel, uh, I don't know what happened in the past, but uh, apparently this one, uh, wheel area has seen some uh burnout so hard that the caliper changed color from silver to this gold and that happens due to excessive heat but nevertheless this wheel came out semi-decent and this wheel uh the sun's hitting it pretty well it actually came out really good i didn't think it came out this good but uh the inner well is like super dirty on, on all of these wheels because i can't get these wheels out to detail them so Whenever I take it back to the shop, I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna, that's when I'm gonna sand them, detail them, and paint them. So up next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go over the whole, all, every single silver panel except for the rear bumper and clay. And then once I'm done doing that, uh, also the uh, mirrors, um, once I'm done doing that, once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this hood and just uh, sand this front bumper a little bit to make sure it's, uh, a little bit rough because I'm not so certain about the condition of it. All right, so it's the evening time, but I just got done uh, detailing the exterior of the car. We uh, went ahead and just cleaned and clayed this whole entire silver portion of the car, uh, including the mirrors. 
and it's uh, as clean as possible. You do the bag test and it's just smooth. So after doing that, we're gonna go ahead and start sanding this down. I'm gonna go ahead and use scotch Bride pad and that should be it. Uh, as far as the front bumper goes, I think I'm just gonna go with scotch Bride over that and call it a day. It's literally like dead skin. You, you're, you're just scrubbing it and it's, it's all just coming right off. It's insane. All right, so uh, update. It's been an hour since I started sanding and uh, that hood is still needing another hour's worth of sanding. Problem is, yesterday was shoulder day and my shoulder's starting to give out. So I think I'm gonna take a 10 minute break and then I'm gonna start sanding again. Got done sanding for tonight. Um, I'm sure there's more sanding left to do, but um, this is a whole lot smoother than when I first started. There are a couple of rough spots like right here, but for the most part, it's pretty smooth uh, over here. The middle part needs a little bit more work. I can't really reach over there correctly. Um, I got these two sides of the hood taken care of completely. It's just this uh, portion, this driver side portion of the hood that needs a little bit more attention and a lot more along the lines of this side. As you can see over here, it's just not uh, smooth. So a little bit more sanding tomorrow morning will uh, lead us to completion. But as for now, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and then I'll see you in the morning. So we just got the hood sanded down. Um, it's a uh, thousand grit sandpaper for the finish. This door is clayed. This door is completed. So this is basically going to be the color combination for the whole entire car. We're going to have the China blue wrap and the black wrap on all the chrome accents. On uh, the bonnet. Nice. All right, so Juan and I just tacked down this panel right here. Um, Rami and Juan went ahead and completely tacked this down. Rami's just finishing it up by cutting out all of the uh, excess vinyl. And he's doing really, really good. Also, this one's almost done. And then once we're done with this, we're gonna finish the passenger side door and then we're gonna move over and finish the driver's side door. So it's been about two weeks since you guys have seen the last clip. We've basically wrapped 89% of the car. Um, the front bumper is the remaining 10% and there's a side skirt over there that's the remaining 1%. So we're basically almost done with the whole entire car. Throughout the week, I've been uploading on TikTok and Instagram updates on where we've gotten with the car, but I'll go ahead and just upload a few clips in so you guys could check that out while I'm talking. As soon as we're done claying the front bumper, which I'm gonna show the process of how I'm doing that, and everything along the lines of that, we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping that. But in regards to wrapping throughout the week, I've just learned so much uh, throughout this whole entire process. Juan's been a huge help in uh, teaching me how to wrap, and he honestly, he does it so well. I honestly suck at wrapping, but uh, regardless what it is, it's, it's, it's a lot of patience that goes into play and doing this bumper, if it's anything like the rear bumper, it's going to be a lot of pain to do. So we're going to knock that out today. And, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, the vinyl material that we bought is vivid. I don't recommend it. Do not buy vivid. If you're going to be wrapping a whole entire car Buy something that's a lot higher in quality, that's not cheap, like Vivid. Vivid was the quickest thing I could have gotten, and it was in China Blue, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna get that done, deal, whatever. Uh, do not do that. Buy quality material. Okay, with all that being done, the front bumper is like waterless wash, that's what I used. I used uh, Meguiar's waterless wash to clean the front bumper. That's all clean, technically. But now I'm gonna go ahead and clay bar that. I'm gonna use this again as lube and uh, lubricate that, uh, clay bar that down. 
make sure that thing is 100% clean so when it comes to wrapping it, the wrap sticks and it's not all dusty underneath the wrap. With the front bumper being fully clayed up now, we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping the inside of the car. So before we start wrapping, I gotta take out this front grill. So just a 10 millimeter three bolts up top. Pretty easy to do. So I decided that I'm gonna take this griddle apart. Uh, I wanna paint it, I wanna paint all this uh, silver and chrome trim black, leave this back part alone. And then for the star, I'm gonna most likely keep that chrome cause it just pops out, it looks so clean when it's chrome. So uh, yeah, taking this apart. All right, so I've successfully detached this part from the grill or I've detached the grill. I made the grill into separate pieces. Um, the chrome portion of this, I don't think is removable. So I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna make sure that uh, it's completely taken care of when we go ahead and paint it and it's not like uh, all patchy and whatnot. So it just looks like one uniform and clean piece. As far as this part goes, um, if I'm gonna refurbish this part, I'm I have spray paint that's that will give a matte look. So I'll go ahead and give this a matte finish, and then this one uh, a gloss finish, and then the star I'm gonna leave chrome. So I think in all honesty that should look really really good. This thing has never had a detail uh, ever since we bought it, and mind you, one of the windows was broken, so it sat outside for I think about three or four months collecting all this dust inside. But before we begin, we're gonna go ahead and put this O2 deatomizer inside the CLS 55 to just clean up the air inside. And that should start our detailing process. All right, so now that the inside of the car has been all ozoned out, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it into the garage and get to vacuum. All right, so now that the car is inside the garage, we're gonna go ahead and take all the extra stuff that's inside the car out so we can start vacuuming it. So I just got done cleaning up the seat and it honestly came out as perfect as a 14 year old car. And we're back. So we went ahead. Juan and I stayed up until 2 a.m. last night wrapping the front bumper. For those of you who joined us on the TikTok Live, we ended up doing it this morning. Dad drove it to the shop and yeah, that's the end of it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions regarding wrapping or anything along the lines of that, and I'll see you in the next one.